Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to another video where I offer my opinions on a question put to me by you. For those who have missed it throughout January, I am hoping to answer as many of your questions as I possibly can in dedicated videos just like this. So if you have a question F1 related that you want me to answer, pop it in the comment section down below. Today's question comes from Aaron Ahern who asks, between Ricardo, Bottas and the clerk, who will partner Vettel at Ferrari? To be fair, it's a comment that crops up quite often, particularly in our live streams, because there is already a lot of speculation about what Ferrari are going to do post-2018 if they get rid of Kimi Raikkonen. And of course, just before Christmas, Sergio Marchione did pile the pressure on the Finns, saying that he's really got to deliver in 2018. Looking at the options then, the first obvious one, of course, is Charles Leclerc, who has got the drive at Alpha Salbert for 2018 and has already had the backing of Sergio Marchione. So that looks like that could be the way that Ferrari go. But there are other alternatives, as Aaron did say in his question. I'll be honest, I didn't actually consider Valtteri Bottas for the seat. But when you think about it, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. If Ferrari are looking for a quick, consistent driver who will pick up the points and help them in the Constructors' Championship, as well as be willing, or not willing, but less inclined to argue, I guess, if he's asked to step aside for Sebastian Vettel, a good number two driver, they could do a lot worse than Valtteri Bottas. I feel a bit harsh saying that because Bottas is a good driver and he's shown that he is pretty solid and I think he really did deliver in his first season at Mercedes, not to the standard of, say, Lewis Hamilton, but Hamilton's been there since 2013 and Bottas was kind of drafted into that seat last minute. So I think we'll really see what Bottas' true potential is in the upcoming season. Daniel Ricciardo is another driver who's been linked heavily with that second Ferrari seat in 2019 and, of course, he is out of contract at the end of this coming season, so it's definitely a possibility. I did offer my opinions on Daniel Ricciardo's future. I'll link that in a video that should pop up on screen somewhere now as an annotation, if I remember to do it. But for me, as much as I would love to see Daniel Ricciardo in a race-winning car like a Ferrari, a works team, if you like, but as good a driver as Daniel Ricciardo would be for Ferrari, I don't necessarily think Ricciardo moving to Ferrari is right for him. I've said it so many times and I will continue to say it. Daniel Ricciardo is too good to be a number two driver. And I know a lot of you will say, well, what makes you think that Daniel Ricciardo will play number two? If Ferrari sign him, it will be to play second fiddle to Sebastian Vettel. That is what they do. I am not criticizing Ferrari. It is a proven and trusted formula and it works for them. But Daniel Ricciardo should not be jumping out of the way of anybody on the grid. He is far too good for that. However, if you flip that around, he is exactly what Ferrari need. He is quick, he is competitive, he is proven, he is experienced, and he gets on very, very well with Sebastian Vell, as we saw during their time at Red Bull. And Ferrari like nothing more than having two drivers that get along. Look at how they are with Vettel and Raikkonen. They love the fact they've got two drivers that are good friends and get on really, really well. And over the last couple of years, they've talked a lot about the harmony in the team, and that is down to the drivers massively. So Daniel Ricciardo would be great for Ferrari, but like I say, I just don't think that's a good move for him. But we will find out very, very soon. And I have a feeling there are going to be a few twists in the tail with that one. I will talk a little bit more about Charles Leclerc in just a moment, but I do want to throw up a couple more names that could end up in that Ferrari. First off, Sergio Perez. Now hear me out on this one. He has been linked with that seat of Ferrari a lot over recent seasons. He is another driver who would definitely deliver the points for Ferrari. And if nothing else, he is quick and consistent. What may well put Ferrari off, though, is he had his shot at McLaren and didn't exactly set the world alight. And this last 12 months, he has fallen out with his teammate on track and off track a lot. As much as I would personally love to see Sergio Perez in that Ferrari, I do not believe they will take him on. They will want a number two driver who is completely compliant, and I just do not believe that Sergio Perez will do that. The other one I kind of want to put in there is Roman Grosjean. I still think the only reason he moved to Haas was so that he was in the frame for that Ferrari seat should Kimi Raikkonen get dropped or retire. And to be fair, that was pretty widely reported at the time as well. He is, in my honest opinion, a driver who deserves a chance in a top team. The problem is there is so much talent on the ladder to Formula 1 at the moment that Roman Grosjean's chances are very, very slowly slipping away. And based on his 2017 problems, I think his frustrations are starting to show in that respect. And I feel like Grosjean had a good 2017 and he had a very good 2016 as well, so probably deserves that chance, but I just do not see it coming. But if Ferrari are looking for somebody to, say, fill the seat until the clerk's ready, Roman Grosjean wouldn't be a bad bet, and neither would Sergio Perez, to be fair. Ferrari have their own driver academy as well with the likes of Antonio Giovinazzi and Antonio Fuoco looking very, very promising. But of course, neither of those realistically are going to be likely to fill that seat in 2019. But don't rule out the possibility that they could end up in either an Alfa Sauber or a Haas very soon. 
That leaves Charles Leclerc. Then I mentioned him towards the start of the video. Sergio Marchione has already bigged up his chances and really, really sung his praises, particularly over Christmas. And he looks like he may well be the preferred option to fill a seat at Ferrari very, very soon. Could it be 2019? I still think Ferrari would be reluctant to put him in the seat after just a year in Formula 1. They like their drivers to have lots of experience and to be fairly well proven. For some reason, I get the impression that Charles Leclerc would be the replacement for Vettel rather than Raikkonen. But that's all going to come down to when Sebastian Vettel decides to retire, something I am going to be talking about in another video similar to this very soon. If Vettel decides that he wants to stay at Ferrari to the end of his career, then Leclerc probably will take the second seat sooner rather than later. But of course, Vettel's deal is up at the end of 2020. And it may well be that he decides to go and try something else in Formula 1, maybe the seat at Mercedes, who knows? Or Ferrari may feel ready for a change, and that is when Leclerc could seriously step in and become Ferrari's number one. Red Bull are trying to do that with Max Verstappen, and I feel like Mercedes will try and do the same with Esteban Ocon as well. As we know through history, Ferrari like to take a driver and build the team around that driver. And Charles Leclerc being young, quick, and I have no doubt more than good enough to be in Formula One, he could be that driver. I will add to that that I think Charles Leclerc should be in a Ferrari sooner rather than later, particularly if he does prove himself in Alpha Sauber, which a lot of us are expecting him to do. And if 2019 is the earliest opportunity and he does end up playing second fiddle to Vettel for a while, that would also be fine. I don't like the idea of him being a number two driver, but there are a lot worse drivers out there to learn from than a four-time world champion. That would only aid his development. So what do I think Ferrari will do in 2019 then? Well, I don't see them sticking with Raikkonen. I think he is in his last season in Ferrari and also in Formula One. If I were to put money on it today, I would say Daniel Ricciardo will partner Sebastian Vettel in 2019. I don't want him to play second fiddle, as I've already said multiple times in this video, but he fits the bill for Ferrari on so many levels and in so many ways. But that is such a tough call. And as with so many things in Formula One, there will be so many rumours flying around throughout 2018. And there will be a huge, a ridiculously huge number of drivers linked with that second Ferrari seat. It will be massively coveted. But they are just my opinions. Who do you want to get that Ferrari seat and who do you think will be in that seat in 2019? And also don't forget to pop your questions in the comment section down below if you would like me to answer one of them in a video like this. I will be back soon with more content, but in the meantime, don't forget to follow me on social media links to Facebook, Twitter and Discord are all in the description down below. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word and until next time, goodbye.